Hi everybody, today we're going to look at another website and today we're going to look at LegitArmsDealer.com LegitArmsDealer.com and there's actually a few of these sites that have the word legit in them or real or official or they, they're t kind of telling you with the domain what they want you to think and the pictures look like a fairly small gun store and they look kind of the pictures look a little old and it's it says their name is legit arms dealer but it's lowercase l right there by far arms online there's not much at the top there's no social media there's no phone numbers and there's and we can scroll down and it says world most loved firearms so it should be worlds right but here's a picture of a pistol and do you know what that pistol is um, I know because I've seen it before, not in person, but I've seen it in a movie. It's the the pistol from Blade Runner. See, notice the like the amber handle, aluminum bottom, smooth top. So if you if you go to Google and you just search Blade Runner pistol, here's pictures of it. See the amber handle, aluminum bottom smooth on the top and you can go to IMDB and it tells you more about the pistol and you can see the handle very clearly it's got like a bolt that bolts down and double double triggers so they're actually showing you a fictional firearm on their site kind of thinking that you can buy it and it says legit arms was discovered in the year 2000 and have been the best supplier of firearms within America and other parts of the world Really, I've, I've never heard of them. So if you're wondering how old something is, you can always just copy the domain, go to a, a, a domain register and do a who is lookup and say, who is this company really? And it might ask you for a CAPTCHA or something and it says, I'm not a robot. Here's a CAPTCHA, bicycle. Okay, that is a bicycle. There it goes. Okay, so this domain wasn't made in 2000 it was made in 2020 so it's um it's a year and a half old and it's using cloudflare and it's in minnesota in the united states and it looks like privacy is on so it's definitely not 22 years old it's two years old uh well a year and a half and we'll keep going and then you get down here and i've got some e-commerce experience so I'm, I know that when this color is different here it's a hyperlink like this is a hyperlink to um, their contact page and this hyperlinks to Facebook but so all of these hyperlink to different places and you can't see what they are but I'm gonna open them in a new tab this one is counterfeit bills let's see if it loads buy counterfeit bills so they are linking to other scams. So the site we're on is definitely a scam. We haven't even got to why it's a scam, but it, this site seems to be down, but maybe they don't know that site is down. What is this? This is about monkeys. So I'll open this in a new tab and see. Yeah, here's, so you've heard of puppy mills. This is a monkey mill, I guess. And they've got pictures of monkeys and they're saying they're available and you can call or text us. Um, so what this is, is this is a, um, a scam, like a puppy mill scam, but it's for monkeys. So they're going to say, oh, yeah, I've got that monkey and it's this old and it's got all its shots. And if you send me $2,000, I'll send it to you. Uh, but I need the money right away because I need to get the ticket or something. So this is about golden retrievers. We'll open this. And um, the domain is goldenretrievers.company.com. Well, maybe they've made the domain wrong. Is it supposed to be that? I don't know. Well, they're not very good scammers. Um, so this is the golden retriever one. What is the O here? Buy methadone online. I won't even look at that because I know what it is. It said methadone is a drug so they're linking to their other scams on this scam and if you open facebook in a new tab their facebook page has has been banned um 
and if you go to the bottom there is there's no address there's no terms and conditions page there's no privacy policy no address they have the phone number but it says text or call when it says text that means it's some kind of electronic phone interface and it's probably WhatsApp which is the easiest way to get phone numbers all over the world right now so the home page is pretty rough let's go to the about us page it has that year 2000 again and then it tells you about their payment methods it's not you didn't really ask but that's what they're saying and then they're the very first thing they're trying to do is dissuade you from using a credit card they say they're gonna have to charge 8% more for credit cards and then they can say uh, we only accept NB we only accept Amazon iTunes Walmart gift cards cards Wow any any e-commerce platform that asks you for gift cards is a scam they ask you for Bitcoin and then they tell you where to get it and then they tell you cash app oh here's another link what's this link uh, oh shepherd dogs for sale let's see if it works so it's another puppy mail uh, here's the domain shepherd dogs for sale wow it's down um, yeah a lot of those scam sites if if you complain to the host you might be able to get them taken down so someone probably got scammed and then took it down here's their contact it's got their address well an address if you take it and copy it and I'll just go to Google go back and no more Blade Runner pistol and I'll do what's that address Oh, it's on Zillow. It's a single family home. So it's not a business. It's not a retail store. Oh, it looks cold. So it's in Fargo, North Dakota, nice and snowy. It's a house. Um, so that's not a business. Here's This is probably WhatsApp. Um, this doesn't link anything. This links Facebook, but I think it's um, page not found page isn't available um, Twitter their Twitter page is up but they've only tweeted twice one was to themselves and then one was to their other scam sites and you can see it the counterfeit bills the monkeys the methadone golden retrievers these are the scams this person is working on there's only 17 people following them and they only follow two people I wonder what the following p oh I have to log in to see that okay and here's some random picture off the internet of a gun store but the best way to tell something's a scam is just uh, put something in your cart and see uh, what the payment methods are I like to sort for high price because the high price stuff should be pretty rare Wow g36 Glock I don't know what the good price is I don't know if that's a good price or not um, you can add it to cart it'll add to cart go to the cart see what the payment methods are um, proceed to checkout Zelle or Bitcoin only remember they said you could pay credit card but you would pay 8% more now they're taking that back they only want Zelle or Bitcoin if you pay either of these methods there's no refunds there's no way to get your money back Bitcoin you can't even tell who you paid and if you pay Zelle it's probably some middleman scammer so do they think they have a thousand of those in stock yeah the 2.7 million dollars um, you can sh you can ship them any to any country and at any address um, I can ship them to California they're not California compliant I don't think I really I really really doubt it so 90210 is one zip code there the card updated there's no tax there's no shipping charge there's no warning that you shouldn't send a thousand rifles to California that aren't California compliant so this is a scam site um, to recap legitarmsdealer.com has fictional firearms on the home page it has no privacy policy no terms and conditions no blog posts um, no social media profiles that seem to work um, they say they were made in the year 2000 in a very strange manner and that's not true they're only a year and a half old um, if you bought anything from them I'm sorry um, you need to be very careful shopping online there's 
literally hundreds of these scam websites right now. Um, if you've been scammed, you should complain to the web host, find out who the web host is and complain. And um, any other methods that you feel um, fits you. If you can find out who this phone number is issued by, you might complain there, you might complain to Twitter, you might, um, you know, any other like weakness in their armor. Um, thank you for your time and I hope you have better luck shopping online in the future.